Yeah, here I am. It's Friday and uh, somewhere around the middle of March, right? And I've spent the last few days getting uh, painting on this thing. The last two days, I guess, painting on this thing. So here it is. That's the, uh, it's painted up. There's, if you stick around, you'll see it's kind of, kind of long and drawn out, but if you stick around, you'll see the uh, trials and tribulations of clear coats. But that's about clear coat number four on there to finally get it close to being right. And they still got to do a little bit of buffing on it, but not too much. For the most part, it turned out nice. And I'm happy, I'm a happy guy with it. It's uh, like right here, there's a little bit of, you know, overspray on there. But this side here turned out great after many tries. It was either that part was good and this part was bad or that part was bad and this part was good. Finally got everything sort of to come together pretty good. It will take, I never did, like I've got three coats of clear coat on the, on the roof up here, but then it got a bunch of overspray for when I was doing these edges. And so it's, it has to be uh, buffed out up there. And the same thing along the front of the car here. It's, it's actually, um, all, all it needs is a buffer and to take off a little bit of the overspray. So I'll worry about that. It'll be a couple of days before you can do that. So I'll worry about that later. See here, this clear coat line comes to there and then, then it got oversprayed here. So anyway, happy with the job. I'm happy, it's a happy, it's a good paint job and a nice color. So that's it for this week. I'll uh, get the movie done and uh, come on back next week and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing what shows up in the mail around here. I'll have to just set this on the table so I can, you know, do the uh, fashion model stuff. There you go. Yes, I know I'm on fire. Let me finish this weld, hey? So anyhow, thank you, whoever, might have been JD, who knows, doesn't say who sent it. Yeah, so here I am, it's uh, paint day. So I'm going to do the inside above here first, right? Then the inside above there second like interior stuff above the floor I can do no troubles then I can do this portion here which is the uh, the front driver seat area and then the passenger seat area without any problems then the next thing would be up on the roof up here Hmm. Yeah, the roof up there. So I need two good coats on the roof, right? Hmm. I've got a ladder that I can make it, I can reach up there with a ladder. And then, then I can start working on, uh, then I'll do the floor. Then I'll do the exterior. Okay, now, first thing first, they say in the, uh, those, YouTube gurus, right? YouTube YouTubes. When you're mixing up trim clad paint, which is Rouge Few, right? Fire Red. And it's a gloss. When you mix it up, you mix up four parts of the trim clad, of the paint, of the base paint, three parts acetone, and one part hardener which is uh, this universal urethane hardener stuff works. Then, and then it works, then it should flash out in, uh, or, you know, dry to second coat in 20, like 15 or 20 minutes. Then here's, after that, I've got a clear coat here. El Cheapo Clear, low VOC. And this stuff here, it came, like I found it on the internet, I'll try it out, see if it works. It, like if it doesn't work, I haven't got an awful lot of into it except for time. Because this, this paint here is like less than $100 Canadian a gallon. This thing here, the, the kit for the, the clear coat 
is maybe $150 Canadian. And so all I have to do, I'll, if it doesn't work, I'll just redo it. But I think it'll work. It looks all right up here. And uh, we'll see what happens. I've got everything set up to go. I've got my, uh, this is a air filtration system, which I just have running to take some of the, you know, the vapor out of the, out of the air because I don't have a very great exhaust system. The exhaust system over here is going to be running up here. I'll turn that on when I get ready. And it, it's not a very, very big one. And its intake air is from down below here where it comes in the vent from the floor. So anyhow, but I hope that'll clear out the air well enough. And I got myself a new, a new mask for this whole event. See how this works out. It's off the internet and not very expensive. So we'll see how it works out. Anyhow, now I'll get the paint. First thing I got to do is do a tack cloth thing. So I'll tack cloth the whole car and uh, then I'll get ready to start painting. Okie doke, I'll show you what's happening. Yeah, yeah, so here I am tack clothing. So I wrap, I wrap the tack cloth around one of those terry cloth things and just makes it, uh, you know, a bigger surface area. It's not always coming out of your hand. And and just go over the whole damn thing, right? The whole car gets tack cloth. Doesn't take long, you know. It's just uh, go through it all. And it seems that like there's the amount of dirt it's picked up, and it picks up just. Just that stuff that you miss with everything else, so. That's all right. And no, I'm pretty sure you've seen enough of that for a while, have you? I'll just carry on. Yeah, so there's all packed cloth off, ready to go. This thing here, I'll set it up. It's got a four hour timer on it. I turned it on this morning early just to uh, let it clean out any dust that might be hanging around in the air, if it could. And uh, I think I've got the place fairly dust free. It didn't seem to pick up too much dust overnight and all that kind of stuff. So here's what it got on the tack cloth. That's the whole car, right? So it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, now I'm thinking I'm getting pretty close to being Time to go. Time to show time here. So I'll get the uh, I'll get the paint mixed up, four to three to one, and I'll I have I don't know if I ever showed you this, but I built this little thing here. There was an old I had an old shock absorber, and I, this is a heavy duty stir stick. So I'll stir up the paint well there in the bucket in the bucket, and then. When you mix it up, you got to make sure you stir it up well. So I'll put this on the drill and just stir it up. And then I've got some acetone in here just for cleaning stuff. And I got my paint guns ready. And that one is what is size? Is that? That's 1.4 for laying on the base coat, and it's 1.3 for laying on the uh, clear coat later. So I think I think we're okay. I'll get this out of the way so it doesn't get painted. I'll just put it underneath the plastic. <laughs> That's the easy idea. And then I think we're ready to go. Okay. Talk to you soon. Yeah, here I am. Gonna stir it up.
pretty thick stuff. Now, <laughs> let this drip in here for a while. Now I gotta get, I don't know, can you see here? Four parts of this stuff, right? To there. And the guys say that make sure you don't get the paint dripping over your instructions for the paint. But I didn't even notice where the instructions were, so I guess it doesn't really matter. They also say to put a couple of holes in the in the uh, thing here, but I, I often find that that doesn't work very well either. So I just use a rag and wipe it off. Then I'll put that on just loose and pretty soon by the end of this I'll be covered with paint. So there's four parts. Four parts red. Then I got three parts of this stuff to go. Yeah, there. so there's four parts of red, then I'm up to three parts with this thinner, which is acetone. Now it's got that in there. part of this uh, hardener stuff. Need a good bit more than that. there. So that's all the parts are in there. Quite a bit of paint to use up now. <laughs> now I'll stir it up with my stir stick here. that off. So there, the paint's mixed up. I'll catch up with you in a minute. Now I'll just pour it into uh, into the gun, I hope. <laughs> so I put a piece of steel here and a magnet thing and clamped it on there so it's reasonably solid. Now you just pour it in carefully if you can. That's enough for the first go, right there. And I'll just put this over the top of it to keep the dust out. There. Now, in this thing here, it can sit right there. Put the cover on it. And we're, we think we're set to go. I'm going to move you over to the back of the car and we'll see if I can set up the sprayer so it's got a good spray. Hang a second. 
Yeah, no, I'll see if I can get this set up so that it's spraying right. I haven't put my mask on yet. I'll do that after I get this set up. Hmm. Maybe I should put it on first. Hang on. I'm going to shut it off for a second. I'll put the mask on and then, then I'll be set to go. Yeah, that's my uniform for the day. So first I gotta see if I can set up the pressure right on this gauge here, around 20. That's pretty good where it is. I'll set it there. This thing here I set yesterday, one turn in. This thing here I set one quarter turn in. Gotta be like that far away from your where you're painting to. <laughs> Not bad for a starter. I'll see if I can get some paint on the car now. Just gotta turn you around this way. I'm gonna do the interior up there. There we go. Yeah, there now I'm in the house, but in, you can see I have a little problem with this mask because it gets completely painted up. I'll see if I can clean it off. Otherwise, I'll go back to my other mask, which, you know, is, is adequate. I've got eight minutes left on my timer. I set it for 20 minutes when I came in. So what I'll do 
is I'll carry on painting, but I'll, I'll just show you that after the coat's done because you've seen enough of me swishing it around, I think, haven't you? We'll see how it goes here. Yeah, so there's one coat on the inside and it looks like I haven't even put a coat on the floor yet and it's all red. <laughs> so I guess that stuff spreads pretty quick. I think that's one coat's lots for inside there. Looks like I have to do up around the back. The back there, I've missed a spot. I'll get there. But for the most part, it looks, it covers very well. I'll let this stuff dry and I'll uh, get a couple of coats on the outside and see what happens. Cool. That thing there came back out not bad. Not a completely shiny surface, but I think that after another coat, that's an exterior piece, after another coat it'll look pretty good. But I'll just go ahead and start on the outside now and uh, see how that turns out. So the first part I'll do is up high and I'll do the roof first over there. Like I've done some of the roof, some of this stuff, and that tur turned out pretty nice. Okay, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll show you as I get along. Whoops, there you go, take two. That's coat number one on there. That looks uh, very red, hey? That's about as red as they get. That's all right, it's covered good. Everything's covered up well. And uh, I'm quite happy with that. So far, so good. Got to be careful with the plastic because when the, uh, when the gun is blowing in here, it pulls the plastic in and it cuts up against the bumper, but that'll all be covered up. So I'm not too worried about it. And then when I was walking around one time, there's my uh, body work and it looks very nice. I guess I did all right. I don't see any runs anywhere. So I did all right that way too. But it's a tight squeeze in here. Well, the spot right there is kind of shitty, but that'll be the way it is. You don't notice those things until you get the paint on it. But I'll give it another coat. I think it's pretty near ready for a coat. I'll just check. You can hear me sticking to the floor, hey? Eh? A little bit tacky there. Might want to give it another 15 minutes before I hit another coat on it. That won't hurt. Yeah, pretty pretty tacky stuff. So it doesn't hurt to wait another 15 minutes of it. But I don't know that I need another coat on the interior. But the interior looks like it's going to be all right the way it is, eh? And anything that, like, in there, you see that you can't get in with the, with, with the gun, but what I'll do is I'll get a can of uh, rattle can and, and finish up on the interior of those things. And that spot that I missed right there, I don't know how I'm going to reach that. Hmm. We'll, we'll get it figured out. Actually, it's pretty nice paint, and it covers well. This isn't, the bodywork isn't perfect here, but it's not bad. I did a lot better on the bodywork on this than I did on the Triumph. And then once I get another coat of paint on this, it'll be all covered up pretty nice. Yeah, so, that's a, that's a happy paint job. Hmm. I could do some more work in that bucket there, but... How do you like it? I like it all right. I think that's a nice color. You can see that, I can't.
It's like the okay to put another coat on there now. That'll just suck up another coat if I put it on now. So I'll get going and put another coat on. There you go. Yeah, yeah, so there's uh, two full coats. Looks like this mask off here. Don't need the mask for a few minutes while I'm talking to you. So there's two full coats on there. And it actually, it's coming along. It looks pretty nice. Nice color. Okay. It's very, very, very red. I should, uh, I could join a fire department anywhere. Okay. And I've always wanted red shoes and you know never had the opportunity to have red shoes before as I look up there I can't really tell I can't see from here this uh, panel here came out nice and you know you can see a reflection in there a little bit but I'm not too worried about that I'm not I can see myself in there. Anyway, the um, what I'll do, I have enough paint mixed up that I can go ahead and 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 lay another coat on the outside here. I think the inside's got lots of paint on it. I put an extra coat on the back there. That top bit there that I missed, you can see see right above the outer uh, exterior panel there. I missed right along that edge up there, and I <coughs> can't really get into it <coughs> from here. So what I'll do is I'll. Uh, once it dries and it's all cured, which will be a whole day tomorrow, then uh, I'll go up and I'll just take a rattle can and do that little bit up in there. Because I have a rattle can with red in it. Anyhow, that's not a bad looking little, not a bad looking paint job. Don't know where the, let's see, still a bit, it's a bit tacky still. Actually, if I waited another 10 minutes, it would be a better idea. So I'll, I'll uh, set a timer here for 10 minutes, then I'll get a bit, another coat. Yeah, there, that's red, right? Now it came out a little bit, there's a little bit of uh, orange peel in it. I'll see what happens after I put the uh, clear coat on, if that helps it any or not. But I don't. I'm not going to chase it too much because it's actually a, not a bad, not a bad finish. The um, back here is better. Yeah, it depends on where you are in the car. The gun started to get clogged on me there, and it wasn't putting on a heavy enough coat, so it got orange peel on that bit. So I have to rookie mistake, right? Everything's a rookie mistake. Here I am. Click, click, clicking on the floor, right? But the, uh, have to wait for it to dry a bit before I put clear coat onto it because I want this, I don't want to get the vapors plugged underneath a clear coat because then it'll, it'll look terrible, it'll bubble. For the most part though, it's not bad. It's not a, uh, it's kind of a flat, mat, mattish sort of finish so far. We'll see what happens uh, after after a clear coat. See what it looks like. <laughs> I'm actually I'm fairly happy with it. I'm, I'm I think it'll be more than more than adequate for what I want. But that now a lesson learned is not to mix up too much of the stuff. So I mixed up a big bucketful. And I should have mixed up a smaller bucketful a m number of times instead of a big bucketful once or twice. So, because what happened is the last there was that the uh, it got past its shelf life and it started clogging the gun up. So I'm going to leave it for about an hour and then I'll come back out and uh, see if I'm putting a clear coat on. And if it's still tacky, then I'll just leave it till tomorrow. So anyhow, that's good for now. Yeah, so now, here I am. I'm going to leave it overnight tonight. I got busters out here with me now. I'll leave it overnight tonight. And then tomorrow, like here it came out really nice. 
and it's still pretty tacky so I'm not going to touch anything but here it's got a little bit of orange peel in it so what I might do is just give it a quick sand tomorrow and then move work up uh, like I've got it three to two to one or four to three to two one or something like that so I'm gonna maybe mix it four to four and then one part of hardener and that'll make it go on a bit lighter and I'll see if I can get that uh, I'll put a wet coat on there and see if I can get it to uh, get rid of the orange peel we'll see what happens that'll be for tomorrow yeah now here it is tomorrow right already and I've got like there's three coats on here for the most part one heavy one coat on the interior which I think is covered fine because it's you know it's all going to be enclosed and there's going to be carpet on the floor but the floor actually all looks pretty good down there so a couple of spots we could use a bit over there in the corner I didn't get it in this corner here yeah I got that corner anyhow but then as I was going along the the gun started clogging here now can you see this how close can I get here a little bit of orange peel on here but most for the most part it's not bad now what will I do I can go and chase that down with sandpaper everywhere and put another spray coat on or else I could just put a clear coat on and see how things turn out I think oh dear oh dear oh dear it's just just at the point where you have to think about it hmm just at that point where you have to think about it a bit because it's not it's not bad and you got a nice like you can see down there there's a nice there's a nice gleam to it all over and on the the roof looks good a fly landed up there hmm oh well but everything uh like it all all looks pretty 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 spiffy not a perfect job but not a bad job at all i shouldn't be touching it really what I'll do is I'll take a tack cloth and run a tack cloth across it. If the tack cloth sticks to it, then it needs to be sanded. If a tack cloth goes over it smoothly, then it should be all right, I think. We'll just see. I'll get a tack cloth and check it out. I can get this light out of my hand here somehow. Here, I'll just go and get a tack cloth. Where's my tack cloth? Oh, things disappear around here. Hang on, I'll find it and we'll see it up, see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Here I am. So, if you run a tack cloth along it, it doesn't stick to anywhere. And it just sort of falls right off. So, I think it's, for the most part, it's all right. Hmm. Like I could have done a better job up here sanding. I didn't even notice that. Oh well. Some things, some things are good and some things are not as good. That thing there is nice and smooth. Feels great. A nice shine to it. I think it's okay to, I think it's okay to put the clear coat on. This back part really turned out nicely. <laughs> Nicest part on the whole car. And this part here has turned out nicely. This panel here is it's nice, the panel. Like actually the panel's nice and smooth. You'd never know that that was all beat up the way it was. Well, the tack cloth slides over at everything very smooth. So I think that the clear coat would likely finish it nicely. Like in up here, it could all have been this smooth. Hmm. Front panel's okay. Even the bumper's okay. Or the, you know, underneath the bumper. Hmm. 
Well, what do you think? I don't know. I'm I'm torn. Well, hard to say. I think it's I think it's ready for a clear coat. Like you can see that it's got that little bit of model to it there, but that's you know that looks fairly normal, I think. Hmm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'll think about it a bit here. Yeah, I think it's safe to go with the clear coat on it. I've, I've been looked around it all and I've decided that it's pretty good. We'll just see, see how it turns out. Some places are better than other places, but other, for the most part, it's a pretty nice looking paint job for a grayish paint job, eh? Like everything came out with a nice shine and it's a nice deep color. Deep, deep color. Boy, it's red. It'll look good once it gets a uh, white roof on it. Hmm. Cool. Well, I'll just see what happens here now. It's uh, time to time to do clear coat. So the clear coat is uh, now a couple of things I learned here. I learned something yesterday. So I had trouble with the last when I was putting on the last coat the gun started clogging up over on the outside over here and that's where it came into the uh, like the worst place of orange peel is just this panel right here which isn't really not that bad because I, I stopped I stopped painting when, it, when the gun was clogging up so one of the things in those here's things I learned not to mix up too much paint which I did I had uh, too big a bucket full of paint mixed up or too much paint mixed up that I couldn't use in a reasonable amount of time. And so then it gets cloggy. And the second thing is that uh, there's that little, inside these guns, there's that little plastic thing. Wait, I'll show it to you. Let's see if I'm pointing in the right place. Where am I pointing here? Right there in my face, right? So here's the gun, right? And if you go inside here, this is the one for clear coat. But if you, oh yeah, yeah, of course it's got stuff in there. This little thing here, which is the plastic uh, filter thing, the guy on uh, the guy on Paint Society says just throw this out because it's it's causing you more problem than 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 you need. So I'm going to take his word on that because that's what was plugging up the gun yesterday. So I'll throw it out and then it's gone and I'll throw it out of my other guns because it works for the first, like the first thing you paint it works and it works for the second thing you paint maybe, but then it starts getting plugged up. And so I've decided that it's uh, better not to use it at all, but I'll only mix up this much clear coat and put that on and then I'll mix more when that's gone. So anyhow, there we go. That's that's it for starters. Yeah, yeah, don't I look good. It's uh here's first coat of clear. Actually it came out pretty nice. And I think ready for another coat. You can just cut a few tape and you'll see if it's still if it's ready to go or not. Now the room is still full of mist because my uh, air evacuation system isn't that great but it all looks really good and this area that i was worried about fixed it right up i'll put another coat of clear on there and then i think we'll be uh, happy guys now i'm not sure what to do about the uh, like i did hmm stick a bit of fire See, I did along the edge here with clear. You can see where it stopped. And I did along the edge of the back. So what I'll do...
there's all the. Uh, I wanted to look at this to see if it turned out okay. Yeah, that turned out pretty nice. Very nice. And you can see yourself in it, so that's good. So I did along the edge here with clear, and you can see the line of delineation there. Maybe I'll do this back panel as I go along. Boy, it turned out really nice. Oh, okay. Don't know whether it should be any more or not. But it's supposed to have two coats of clear, so I'll put another coat of clear on there. <laughs> well, that makes me happy. I was a little bit concerned about the uh, finish with the base coat, but I guess that's uh, the reason for concern is gone. Okay, I'll mix up a bit more paint and I'll uh, get to it. This uh, paint booth here works pretty good. It gets most of the most everything stays on that side. This side is good. So right before I left, I put some acetone in here, and I put some acetone in my bucket here. So I'll just clean that out, and I'll carry on mixing another. This stuff here is four to one. Four of this, one of them, and it took two rounds to cover the car. So it looks like I've got lots of that. So this stuff here, so far. I'm pretty happy with that that uh, round decks stuff. Okay, all for now. Yeah, there I've mixed up another batch, and uh, it's all like it's on this thing here. Four. This is the four to one. So you put it up to five here for the for this stuff, and then you put it up another to this five. For this stuff and that's all you need to do so I won't I don't film this because it's uh hmm, the room just gets full full of fog and you can't see anything anyhow so away I go I'll show you the results yeah there now turned out pretty nice <coughs> in fact it turned out really nice don't even have to do any wet sanding on it or anything. A couple of spots like there, a little bit of orange peel, but this panel here, like I was worried about this, and it came out nice. Up there, a little bit of orange peel up there. Like I could have hit it with a heavier coat. Like I might hit it with another. I'll wait and see. I don't want to. Like sometimes you can screw things up by trying to fix things. So I think I might just let it be because it all looks pretty awful nice. Now I did clear up to, you can see where the line of clear stops. Same as in the back, you can see where the line of clear stops. This thing here. In the back all looks good. Everything looks good. Holy boy. Well, I'm fairly happy with this. In fact, I'm very happy with this. You can hear me squick, squick, squicking. Like I didn't, I could have used a wetter coat here. A little bit dry. But that's all right. Some things you just can't do anything about. I could hit it with another coat of clear. Pretty near asphyxiate, asphyxiated myself on the last coat of clear. So I did clear on this bottom of the seat there, clear down here. Then you can see like uh, where I didn't get it quite covered, but for the most part it's. Boy, that's a good job. I can be happy with that job.
don't know what happened here. I must have I must have run into it or something there with my elbow. Right in between there could use a bit more clear. I might have to put another coat of clear on it, which like it doesn't hurt. There's some areas I don't need it, like the front. I'm going to call well right in the middle there. It could use a bit more clear. But for the most part, it's looking pretty pretty good. Now that's that's a good budget paint job. That is. Yeah, you can see right here. Could use a bit more. Well, not really. Yeah, a little bit more right there. And a few other spots we could use a bit more. It gets to the point where it gets so fogged up in here you can't see what you're trying to do. It's a pretty big machine to be Well, anyhow, what'll I do? Uh, maybe I'll hit it with another coat of clear. That wouldn't hurt anything. Like down in here, needs some. That really brightened it up, though. It really made it. it makes it pop when you get that clear on there. Anyway, I'll. Uh, I guess I'm back into painting, right? Oh, all right. So I did another coat, and it's actually like up here. Came around all right. In fact, came around really well. But there's some areas, like here, this was bad before, but then down here is bad now. Just so. Oh dear, oh dear. But I can, I think I'll try another coat on it and see if I can get it to be all consistent because this was nice before and I've got it as screwed up now. It's not not nearly so nice. Okay. And lots of it is good. But there's some that it's just like you can see that didn't quite make it. So I'll, I'll clean up my gun. I think my gun was getting gummed up. Okay? Which is a normal thing around here. I'll clean it up and I'll see if I've got enough uh, fluid left for doing two more loads here. And I think I do. Yeah, they're pretty well done. The, uh, you know, whenever you try to fix something, you usually make something else worse. So I did get it fixed up here, but then the roof is kind of dull because it's got some overspray on it. And same thing down here. There's some overspray in a couple of areas down here. But for the most part, I've got it solved so that it looks pretty good. The, uh, <laughs> the amazing that that actually comes out really, really quite nice. Like this is okay. It'll take some buffing down here, right? But it'll all come out with a buffer. And I don't think I have to do any like uh, serious sanding on it or anything like that. Just a matter of buffing out a few spots. But this side here, that turned out very nice. I'm happy, happy with that. Little tiny run right there that you can hardly see, but there is a run there, but I'm gonna ignore it because I'm the only one that'll ever see it, likely. And that clear coat stuff, that came out nice. Came out really nice. There you are. So, that's uh, the Volkswagen. That's the color it, it is. And I'll, I'll uh, I still have to, I used up that whole gallon of clear coat. So I'll have to order up more of that to be able to get, to get the doors done because still, there's still a lot of square footage to do just with the doors. And then when the roof, when I get to doing the roof, which will be soon here, I guess, because we want to be able to put it back together, then uh, I'll have to just sand it off and then paint it. I'll get some uh, trim clad white, hey, and paint it with the trim clad white. So. I'm pretty happy with the paint job.
I'm, in fact, I'm very happy with the paint job. That's about as nice as I ever get, or nice as I've got so far. So, there we are. That's uh, this week done, so it's Friday. It happens to be Friday, so I'll put together this movie and uh, get it out for you. And then that'll be, that'll be another, another episode done. See you next week. Yeah, yeah, so what is it? March 9th, maybe? Here's your buster report, right? A little bit grim today, but then the wind has been blowing in, sure. And so there's lots of, uh, oh, there, the sun's come out just in time for the come to the beach. Yeah, there, the sun's going away. But the wind's coming on shore and all that ice is blowing in everywhere. So there you are. It's supposed to be warming up. It's like zero degrees here right now. And it's supposed to be warming up and getting cold and warming up and getting cold. March. Hmm. But it won't be long before it's April and April's usually pretty nice. Anyhow, there's Buster. Hey! Look here. Yeah, the camera's on you. Yeah. Oh, there you go. See ya later on.